Hello, Jane Gill here. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card using one of my Fuzzy Friends stamps. This is Hugo and his code is JGS769. I'm going to colour him in with the paint palette from Cosmic Shimmer, watercolour paint palette, and this one is called Chic and Frosted Set 9. I'm also going to use some floral dyes. I have two here from Sue Wilson. I've got the Blossom Patch and the Petite Forget-Me-Nots, both from the Finishing Touches range. I've also got a selection of 3D accents and I have a little mini stencil and some Colour Cloud. So what you're going to do first is you're going to stamp Hugo onto some watercolour card, which I've already done here and I've already started painting him in using the watercolour palette. To use these you want to lightly spritch the top of it just to activate some of those colours a little bit and I'm going to use a water brush to pick up some of the colour within the palette and add to my image and it's quite a wishy-washy finish I've got here. I'm not worried about too much about keeping inside the lines because the line is around this image is quite broken anyway. So it really doesn't matter. So keep adding a bit of color here and there, blend it in with some water. Lots of water is required on here. You're working on watercolor cards, so it's nice and easy to use. And the idea is that it just all bleeds and blends together. Just make sure that there are no little white gaps Take a clean brush with some water and just blend those in just in case you've got any little white gaps. Don't worry about any fuzzy areas because that's the whole point of the look. A little bit more colour to the centre of him. There we go. Now ideally you need to leave that to dry. Uh, but I know his face is dry and I'm just going to take a couple of alcohol pens to colour in his features. So a little bit of yellow for his beak. And again, you can use the uh, watercolour paint palette to colour these in if you want to. But the using an alcohol marker will really make them stand out and be nice and bright. But you have to do this when the watercolour card is completely dry. So we'll add a little bit of yellow around his eyes. And I've got a bit, a bit of pink. I've chosen all the colours that match the paint palette. And a little bit of purple to colour in these dots. Now my card is probably not terribly dry, but still going on okay. Okay, it's a bit damp down here. We'll finish it off, there we go. Now, if you wanted to, you can also add some splatters. And I have got um, a little bit of water in here and I'm picking up some of the color from the paint palette, making it quite wishy-washy. And I'm going to splatter Hugo. I'm gonna put a bit of kitchen towel down just to catch the splatters. Make it sure it's nice and washy and watery and just tap your brush over the top like so until you get some really nice splatters. And here's one I have finished. So as you can see, you've got the splatters here. Some of them are still taking a little bit of time to dry. So once he's dry, you're going to mount him onto some coloured cardstock and I'm going to be using the foundations card from Creative Expressions in Rich Plum. I've also stamped his um, the greeting from the, the stamp set and that needs to be painted as well. So let put all those things to, to one side to dry and I'm going to show you how to do the little flowers. So I've die cut a lot of flowers from the watercolour card and I have put them onto a piece of kitchen towel 
and I'm painting them with the watercolour palette. Any colour you like. And I prefer to paint them once they're die cut so that when you do paint them like this, you colour all around the edges of the die cut. So it's completely covered in paint. Now those have to dry before you can shape them. And to shape them, you're going to need the Woodware 5x7 Shaping Pal, a really useful soft pad that is great for embossing on, shaping your flowers, scoring, and is also a really good surface for stamping on too. You'll need an embossing tool as well. So once your flowers are dry, put them onto your onto the mat, face up. Let's try and pick up the little dry ones. And I've got a few little ones that I've just already shaped here. And using your embossing tool, turn that down, I'm going to press down those tips like so, then flick it over. So you can see how easy it is to mould your shapes on this mat. For the little ones, you just need to go round and round and round very, very quickly and press it into the mat to create that shape. And now we're going to stick them together. We'll need to add a little bit of glue and I'll probably use the top of my paint palette. And I'll need a pair of tweezers and a pokey tool. So to stick them together, Place one on the base, stick it into a little bit of glue, put them together like so, and a little flower for the centre, dipping them into the glue. And you can put any combination together you want. Both of these will work really well together, layering, mixing and matching. And so you'll do a selection of little flowers like that and when you have finished, here's one I've already done and I've actually stuck them all over Hugo's tummy and I've used some of the 3D accents in Golden Pearl, some decadent wine and a little bit of the uh, cosmic white to uh, decorate the flowers in the centres. And you will see the stenciling around the edges using the mini squares from the mini stencil range and that's all been done with a colour cloud blending ink and a smoothie. So I hope you like Hugo now all dressed and ready to go out, lovely and shiny and uh, a very pretty card. Thank you very much for watching.